గ్రామ సచివాలయాలు ది ఆర్బీకేస్ ద విలేజ్ క్లినిక్స్ అండ్ ద డిజిటల్ లైబ్రరీస్ ఈ నాలుగు మాత్రం మన ప్రయారిటీస్ దీస్ విల్ యాక్చువల్లీ చేంజ్ ద వే ద విలేజ్ ఆపరేట్స్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దీస్ ఫోర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియం స్కూల్స్ available in the villages they will change the landscape every village the landscape will be totally altered with these four buildings in place and the english medium schools also in place be it the foundation schools or the nadu nadu schools so if we priority so these five or six items including the foundation schools and nadu nadu schools please ensure that you actually focus take every village as a unit take every secretariat as a unit every sachivalaya as a unit and try and understand what the problems are where so ever the problems are coming up take it up individually and ensure that they are addressed the collectors and the joint collectors the rdos and the mandal officers all of them should be roped in to get into these minute details and these five or six that we are talking about they will change the way the village is going to be governed the way the village is going to be looked at this will elevate the image of the collector this will elevate the image of the joint collector this will elevate the image of the rdo this will elevate the village of the mandal officers as well please sir, please focus on these things collectors until and unless you take up the responsibility the collectors and jcs until and unless you take up the responsibility of owning these owning these activities be it nadu nadu in schools be it nadu nadu in hospitals they are your babies until and unless you own them up quality anedi it will be extremely difficult to monitor the quality because you know the kind of numbers that these uh, that we speak of are huge and every school please make sure that there is a complaint number displayed well wherever activities are going on smf tmf put up a huge display boards a number telephone number any parent walking into the school or any child going to that school can see that number and they can directly make a phone call i'm instructing the education department also to make sure that every school has these big big display poster numbers these kind of things are a must in every hospital every school these kind of things are a must i'm instructing both the health department as well as the education department to make sure that these complaint numbers are properly displayed so please ensure that they are all attended to this is one program which will once again leave a, a mark in the history this is one program which would have to be taken up very very seriously this is something what has never been done what we are attempting and history would remember this and there are four important components in this ORI generation ground survey publication of 13 notification and giving jagannath buhakku patra the objective of this pandana is the quality if the quality of redressal is not good enough then there is no meaning in whatever we are doing it is not the quantity that matters it is the quality that matters if a case comes up for us once again to reopen then that means the quality is not good enough so please ensure that you know we are responsible here we are expected to do certain tasks and that is why we are what we are and if we are not in a position to contribute to that cause then there's no point in we being in this position that we are in so please make sure that you know there are a few governing principles that you would have to be focusing on please make sure that the daily spandana 
doesn't miss off. Three o'clock to five o'clock in every village and ward Sachivalayams. Every officer should be available at office afternoon three to five. Please make sure that you supervise that. There's a clock put there, there's a registry put there, there is some kind of a monitoring mechanism put in place. Three to five, every officer should be present in the Sachivalayam for daily grievances. The program is daily grievance. They should be there available to take those daily grievances. Please make sure that you supervise that activity. Every Monday, at the district level, at the mandal level, at the subdivision level, the collector and the JC should not only participate, but also ensure that at every level participation is there. The officers should be present there. You need to make sure that that happens. You need to supervise that it happens. Now similarly, while you participate on Monday, please ensure every Wednesday take a review on the quality. Meaning, are Sachivalayams and Ward Sachivalayams and Grama Sachivalayams, is everybody present for daily grievances between 3 and 5? Are they present or not? On Monday, were all the mandal level and the subdivision level and the district level officers, were they present or not? The collectors and the SPs would have to do this. Every Wednesday, please take a review. If you do not take a review, if you do not supervise, then you cannot address these issues. See, 50% of the problems are addressed when you have somebody at least willing to take grievances. If the person is available, at least 50% of the complications are addressed. But if you don't even have a person there to collect the grievance, to take the grievance, the concerned person, if he's not there, then how do you expect any grievance to be settled? So every Wednesday, you need to ensure that you supervise the entire operation. Is everything happening or not happening? If in a particular area it is not happening, then there should be some kind of a correction there, some kind of action taken, some kind of correction that should take place. Only then these things fall in line. And in fact, I'm asking the CS that he takes a review every Thursday on these issues as well. Whether the collector has taken a review on Wednesday or not. Will also be the activity that the CS would supervise. When he takes a review with you, with you on every Thursday. Along with, of course, he monitoring the SDGs. And today's uh, uh, spandana is you need to supervise the 20 lakh per every Sachivalayam that the government is uh, giving for the outreach program where every MLA is supposed to participate along with uh, the village secretariat and uh, uh, volunteers together. Every house in that village, the outreach program that the MLA should conduct, spend a minimum of two days in each Sachivalayam. And after spending a minimum of two days, at least, visiting every house in that Sachivalayam purview, the MLA feels that there are these certain works that are very important that need to be done. 
for the impact to be felt. Those works have been given a sanction of 20 lakhs for, for every such wale. And it is very important, you have been given, the PD accounts have, all, have already been opened for all the collectors, money has been given, sanctioned to you, and on a war footing basis, you need to attend those works. It is very important that you need to close those works, start those works and close those works at the earliest time frame. So this is something very, very important, which, which we've just started, which we've, uh, the PD accounts are already opened. And I think all of you are also aware of this and party to this. This is one important priority project for the government. We have sanctioned 3,000 crores, 15,000 sachwalayams, sanctioned 3,000 crores for this project. In fact, uh, this is one wonderful achievement. For the year 21-22, uh, uh, so far I think 19 states, uh, uh, the, the data for the 19 states have been released, and uh, uh, we are the top with 11.43% growth rate uh, in constant terms. Uh, most important uh, aspect is the constant terms. Constant terms meaning uh, the prices are at 2011-12 figures. It's a production, real production, the real growth, real production growth which actually took place. And uh, the country's average is, uh, country is uh, at 8.7%. We're at 11.43%, the highest in the country and uh, out of the 19 that have been declared so far. Of course, 11 are yet to come, uh, but uh, out of the 19 declared so far, we are the highest. Uh, that's phenomenal, and uh, uh, credit also is to the collectors for this phenomenal growth as well. But please make sure that, you know, this is sustained. Most importantly is you need to ensure that the MSMEs are properly addressed, their needs are properly looked into. Uh, please understand that uh, industry is very important for any district. Uh, so the grievances from uh, from any of these uh, 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 from any of these sectors, especially the industry, should be properly heard, should properly be addressed, should be very proactively uh, dealt with. These are the things that uh, one should always keep in mind. And of course. Uh, we are monitoring our SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, where every scheme is connected to the Sustainable Development Goals. And we properly monitoring them would automatically elevate the growth rates because the entire uh, growth is coming from, I would say, just one aspect, which is transparency, where every desiring, where every person deserving is not missed out. That's a very, very important keyword. And this is happening because you're monitoring it in such a way. And only when you monitor these things will you have better results coming through. Should have Disha app in their phones. Every woman from every house walking out of the house should have a Disha app downloaded in their phone. This is a drive. Make use of every volunteer, make use of the Mahila police uh, who is positioned in the Sachwalayam and the Ward Sachwalayam and the Gram Sachwalayam uh, to take up this responsibility. Take it, take, it, take it up as a drive. And periodically monitor how this Disha app is performing. You yourself make sure that you, know, you press that SOS button or you shake the phone five times and see how police is behaving. So that you know you yourself will understand in case there is something wrong. You yourself also will uh, make sure that you can correct those small, small mistakes, if at all, small, small uh, uh, things that need to be corrected. It's very, very important that we ourselves also at times conduct these mock trails. Uh, please ensure that, you know, 
uh, all the colleges, be it engineering, be it graduation, be it universities. These are the areas where, you know, uh, where element of drugs, narcotics, these kind of things play a role. Please ensure that there's a proper uh, uh, a mechanism in place which can report to you in the, from these colleges in case some illegal activity like that is happening in those colleges or those universities. There should be some mechanism which wherein people can report to you. Put up uh, these huge display boards in every college, every, um, uh, all the SPs, in every college, every university. Put up a call number, put up a display board which, with a number, with a telephone number. Anything that you see which talks about these kind of activities, be it narcotics or be it any of these kind of activities, this is the contact number. Please call. It's properly displayed with big, big uh, alphabets so that anybody who sees them can call. Put up a hoarding in, in front of the college, every college, every university. The collectors and the SPs, please come together.